Hey, what's going on? So I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite classes in Guild Wars 2. It is the Thief, and I'm going to be running the uh, Dagger build. And I'm going to be using uh, a conditional damage build, so I'm going to show you what it can do, and then I'll show you the uh, build after. So we're going to hit, go ahead and use Basilic Venom, <laughs> Seal Venom, damage. and Spider Venom. And we're going to be entering our battle with uh, Leaping Death Blossom, so we're going to go ahead and target this Medium Golem here. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and get our attacks in right there. And we'll just back off, and you can just see how much uh, damage it's actually doing. Uh, basically, you can go up to uh, most uh, medium or uh, light targets are a lot easier to do this on. Uh, but you can go up to pretty much uh, most medium targets and just uh, go up to them, use uh, Leaping Death Blossom, and you can see it gets the kill. So if you're going off uh, heavier targets, you're going to probably want to continuously attack them. But I mean, you can continuously attack most medium targets and they'll go down uh, with ease. Even with a heal, this just does so much DPS that uh, most... Uh, players aren't really expecting people to uh, basically be able to teleport in because you can actually teleport in with steel um, and you can just finish off uh, most characters so I'll go ahead and show you how I'm running it at the moment um, right now I am uh, I'll show you my inventory right now I'm using the uh, uh, PvP medium shoulders of the thief and I have the full set so uh, yeah it does quite a bit of uh, damage and the uh, extra condition damage does help out right there and um, I'll show you the uh, traits here so you want to max deadly and uh, trickery. Uh, trickery, obviously, for the uh, increased conditional damage because uh, it wouldn't be a conditional damage. But I'm gonna move away here so we don't hear those gunshots uh, from the other player. Um, but uh, yeah, so you get the increased uh, condition damage and that helps out a lot. Pretty much all the uh, what are these called the major trait slot. You don't really need any of those. Um, none of them are really like, important. Uh, although this one you do gain might when applying the venom. So you want that, but as far as on trickery, I mean, you get the extra 5% damage. Um, but this is really good because uh, stealing, which is basically how you teleport in, it's basically the shadow step, um, which is a teleport in. You can teleport in and do the same move. And on top of that, you also uh, basically put your opponent in stun because uh, Basilic Venom does stun your opponent. Uh, well, it turns them into stone, which essentially makes them so they can't do anything, they can't move, they can't cast. It does say stone duration is one second, however, it is actually three. Uh, I think something actually is increasing that. I am not actually sure what, or it just could be an error on uh, their part. But uh, this build is really good. Um, and I'll go show, uh, as far as skills, I mean, you basically, you don't need Bastard Venom. It just makes it so you can stun them and you can't really move. Then you can get like two or three free, free hits on them just to uh, guarantee the kill just in case they're running something that gives them a little bit more uh, vitality. So yeah, so that's been my uh, uh, thief here, just to show you uh, one of my favorite classes and uh, a really good build. So if you're uh, looking to play a build where you can go in and basically one-shot people and like run out, and then you'll get the kill uh, later on. It is pretty good though, and I do really like this class overall. Um, definitely one of my favorite classes. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Asianized White Dragon signing out.